What's up everybody, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I want to show you how you can organize interview sound bites utilizing subclips in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. When I first started working professionally in Adobe Premiere Pro, I was editing a lot of interviews. And the way I would go about it is I would take the entire master clip of an interview, put it in a new sequence, and then slowly pull out the sound bites and chop them up into smaller clips. Now this worked great, but I eventually found a better way, and I want to show you how you can do this in a much more efficient way utilizing subclips. So I have my raw master interview clip here, and if I double click it'll bring it in the source monitor, and you can see this is a little over six minutes in length. And this is the raw interview. So let me show you how you can create subclips from these clips. Now you can create subclips from the timeline panel, or you can create them from the source monitor. So if I go over here, let's say I want to create a subclip off of this clip here. Let's have a listen. When more of the world becomes automated and you have robots and programs, etc., then there's a natural response to, to make something be, have more of a human touch to it. Okay, that's a, an artist talking about the human touch. So if I have this clip selected, I'm going to right click or control click, scroll down, and then down here you'll see there's make subclip option. So let's click on this and it brings up the make subclip dialog box and I can rename this subclip. So let's call this human touch. And we have an option to restrict trims to subclip boundaries and what this will do if we have this selected when we if we take our subclip and drop it back into the sequence it's not going to allow us to expand beyond the subclip boundaries. So I'm going to uncheck that and select OK. And now we have our subclip. So let's go ahead and do this for each one here. This is our second sound bite. When I was born, my eye muscles weren't as strong as they were supposed to be. So I had, I had a couple of eye surgeries, I think when I was two and when I was four, something like that. And um, so my, my stereo vision isn't, wasn't, or maybe it still isn't as strong as, as, as other people. Okay, we'll select this, right click or control click, make subclip, and we'll name this eye surgery, select OK. Now we have two subclips, and for the last one, let's have a listen. Along with a bunch of friends, we've been working on just growing the culture. I'm, I'm convinced that every town has X percent of artists and creatives and music makers, etc. And we just band together and we, we, we make it awesome. We put on shows. Okay, so he's talking about the artist community. So let me, let me actually launch this clip into the source monitor here and show you that we can also create it from the source monitor. If you right click or control click here, you can select make subclip from here and it's the same. So we'll call this artist community, select okay. And then we'll zoom out. Now let's organize this. So I can create another subfolder call it good sound bites and now I can drop all of these subclips in here and voila a much much better method now if we have a client here or I'm editing a much longer project we can see all of these titles here we can quickly reference what our good sound bites are you can also edit subclips if I select a subclip here and go to edit subclip it's going to allow me to change the start and end position. It's going to show us information about our master clips. We can reselect if we want to strip, restrict the trim boundaries, and we can also convert it back to a master clip. So there's a lot of options here. So now let's go through here and delete our original sound bites and drop these sound these subclips in here. And there we go. We have our subclips. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.